Hello guys. So in this video, uh, I want to talk about DLSS. Uh, it stands for the Deep Learning Super Sampling. It's technology available on the RTX graphics card and it can boost up your frame rate. So you may think of the matrix 4x4 with the triangle inside it. So it's the uh, let's say lower resolution uh, of your frame. Using tensor cores and AI algorithms, it uses the subpixel mask to upscale it to the matrix 8x8, where this triangle looks more clean and sharp. So that's the basic idea. As for the plugin, guys, uh, you may Google it or use the link that I will leave under the video. So, for those who struggle to download it, you simply should select I agree to the terms of the NVIDIA DLSS EULA and then use uh, this button. Download for the whether you have 5.3 or 5.2 Unreal Engine version. What else? Uh, next, you need to extract the data from the archive and uh, place it to the plugins folder inside your uh, project or the engine. Uh, as for the city sample that I use for this video, it looks like this. So city sample, DLSS for the DLSS and streamline for the uh, frame generation. Yep. We can also talk about uh, another technology. Uh, it also can boost up your frame rate, but it has some visual artifacts and you may think of this as the experimental feature. Uh, the idea is kind of different, so it uses the frames of your previous capture and then it extrapolates the data to generate the new frame. Inside the archive you may not only find some useful stuff such as documentation and quick uh, startup guide, but the sample project, uh, the one you see right now. And it comes up with some handy stuff such as the debug widget here on the left. And I'm gonna show the difference between this project and the real one, the city sample matrix. So, uh, I'm trying to say that DLSS and frame generation are not uh, the magic button that can uh, help you all the time, because uh, it uh, really depends on the on the complexity of the scene, especially if you have lots of reflections, shadows, and light. So, I'll start first from this project. On the left here, you may see the following setup. It's the 4K resolution with the uh, screen percentage up to 100 with the temporal anti-aliasing. We don't have ray tracing up here, it's the default shadow map and no lumen. So right now you may see that I have the frame rate of 60. I press M key and you may see how the scene looks once we have the fly through. And here on the right you may see that the frame rate is nearly 60. But once I change the upscaling method to the DLSS, you may see that the frame rate is nearly 80. The image looks as sharp as it was previously. And here is the fly through. So at this scene, with this setup, I have the uh, boost up to the 30 frames. We can also enable the ray tracing. You may see that right now we have the better reflections, but the frame rate is 40. With the DLSS on, we have it to the 60. And here is the fly through. Now let's see how well a city sample matrix is gonna run with the DLSS. As you can see, I used the uh, debug widget from the previous project. 
the setup of the scene is the same. I mean, uh, I have 4K with the TAA upscaling methods with no retracing. I also use the default project settings, which include uh, Nanite, Lumen and Virtual Shadow Maps. Uh, as you can see, scene runs on the 45 to 50 frames. And uh, if you remember, I was telling you earlier, sometimes DLSS, uh, it's not the magic button. The TAA can also run well and sometimes even better than the DLSS. It all depends on the complexity and some other factors of the scene. So, performance is on the same level and I might say it's slightly worse than it was previously. And it's time now to talk about the DLSS uh, mode. Let's open up the category and see what modes we have. So, they are DLAA, quality, balanced, performance, ultra performance and so. By default, we have quality and all those methods or modes, they just override the screen percentage rate, starting from the 50 in the ultra performance up to 100 at the DLAA. The documentation says that the best uh, range to use for the DLSS are from 50 up to 67 and the quality is 67. The only way how I can contribute on this scene from the DLSS is actually to run it in the ultra performance mode. So right now you may see that the frame rate is 55-56. So guys, the last part of this video is how to run DLSS in your project. So once you install the plugin, uh, it comes up enabled by default and you may check it on your own inside the plugins window. Next, in project settings, new new categories will appear, such as NVIDIA DLSS. It has a lot of different checkboxes and you may enable using DLSS in your viewport and not only in the packaged game. To make sure that the plugin works fine, once you open up your project, go to the output log and look for NVIDIA and GX DLSS supported one status. If it has status of zero, it means you've messed up somewhere. There are a couple of ways how you can run DLSS. For instance, here I use it inside the level blueprint. So it means once the game is launched on this particular level, DLSS is gonna be on. But I prefer to have it as a checkbox inside the settings or maybe uh, if you think about the scalability uh, presets such as low, medium, high or epic, it can run uh, different modes for each of them. The plugin comes with some handy uh, macroses and functions. So all you need is just to press right mouse button inside your blueprint and look for DLSS. All those methods come with the tooltips. To make it run, uh, first of all, check whether your graphics card supports DLSS, just in case. And if it's so, you can call the macros set DLSS mode. There are different of them, but I uh, use no auto. I select the mode directly. So like this, by default it's off. I launch the game. Right now you may see that I have frame rate of 42. Now I'm going to change the mode to ultra performance. Launch the game. And now you may see that my frame rate is 55.
So, in case you want to switch it off, you need to execute the following uh, console commands. This one disables the plugin because uh, not the plugin, but the uh, plugin's ability to work. As I said previously, it comes enabled by default. And then you need to restore your uh, initial screen percentage. I prefer to use it with the 71 because I don't see the difference too much. With this being said, I hope you guys love this video. As always, please subscribe to my channel, leave your feedback. I do have Patreon page and you may find the link also under this video. See you soon, guys.